Once again, everyone, welcome back. I'm Son of Evil, joined once again by Isolator for Game 2 of Yellow Solo Mid Reborn versus Mavericks in AEF Season 2, Division 2. Once again, we're smashing through this, uh, this banning phase. What a fantastic game when it was, Isolated. Very long, but very good. Yes. Very, um, I don't know how to put it, like, it swayed a lot in the way that the tempo was going, but for both sides. But the Mavericks eventually coming on top with their late game setup. Yeah, it started out um, with Mavericks winning every lane except mid. You know, their tri lane was super effective at crushing the Lino, which allowed them to put pressure on you know, poor Invoker mid. But, you know, Nyx just couldn't stand in lane versus Axe. You got like a 10 minute blink, and then the blink reveal went really badly. They lost a, they lost a couple of kills, unfortunately, to Venno, who was just stacked at that point. And, then I guess the rest of the mid game was uh, was the yellow solo mid reborn show, right up until the late game. Like, didn't go the way that we expected, but it ended up being the result that I thought would have happened if the game went that way, which was was good. And uh, they've banned out the Knicks. I don't know if that's like they're afraid of it. But I don't think it had too much impact really, but still no, different I, from the last bands. I never felt like he was a he was a huge factor. Um, like he got crushed versus the Axe. I was gonna say same picks, but it's yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, is that the same picks? And then I realized that um, they swap sides. <laughs> Ember Spirit's so early there, the, especially with the lockdown from Shadow Shaman. It's pretty, pretty confident picking, to say the least. Remaining. Yeah, uh, definitely interesting. Are they looking to hold uh, like? there are other support and like obviously they're looking to hold something until later like is there something uh, a plan that they have here could be like a bait pick or something but i don't know he's not the they sort of hero that you go haha no that's a uh it's a pause for ember spirit yeah well it reveals a lot right so so it's um like last time we saw them pick up the venom and we're like oh they're pushing and now this time they pick up the ember can't really say Heroes usually play mid. We'll see how they do it. Admiral Conker. Conker Shadow Shamans, that's probably the support duo there. Uh, I strongly doubt that that's going to be a uh, a mid Conker. Although it's, it's, not not it's not an unfavorable matchup for Conker though. Such a strong position for at the moment, I reckon. I love it. it it's, he's my go-to pause for right now. Him and uh, Pudge have sort of like come out in this like past meta with the updates and these torrent and stuff and they're just so good at roaming it's so hard to get away especially like with ember spirit because ember spirit and storm spirit and stuff they sort of just work off being there and then going away completely away like out of the map so that you can't even touch them but the can always bring back ember spirit so it's a good pick yeah he definitely buys you a lot of uptime on that ember spirit you know once he gets that x like, if you get a Blink Dagger on the Shadow Shaman and he Blink Hexes you, um, you're kind of just stuck there. Yeah, They've got a lot, they've got like, they have all the an like, these two heroes is all the answers they need for Ember Spirit. Yeah, that's, why that, that's, that's all, that's all so you early. need. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire he's gonna need an early Lincolns for sure, or he's gonna have a really hard time. Or even somebody helping him out. Even his lane could be really, really tough here. If the Shadow Shaman and the Conquer roam in on him, like even, really? even if the, just the Conquer roams, um, pre six, Ember Spirit, he probably just dies. Depending on the mid hero that they've got, I guess. That's what I mean by people helping him out. But Rubik, Rubik isn't that type of hero, I guess, to sit mid. He can sit mid, but it's not. Yeah, he's not known for for his babysitting. Is that get rid of X? Gets rid of X, right? No. Oh, I, I actually don't know. It's a, yeah, it's yeah, one of the strongest dispels in the game, um, but I don't know if it gets rid of X. I'll look it up now. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> you 
you look up purges on Twitter, and the first thing you get is uh, it's purge. It's purge gamers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to learn how to win 2k bracket and get to 3k? Radiant team pick. Oh, DP. So they're banning out all these magic damage heroes that can just burst the DP or create problems for a DP in the team fight. Good bans for her so far. And she does pretty well against Amber, I guess. Good silence for Amber. Five seconds remaining. I'm definitely liking Mavs drafting a lot more in these two games. Yeah, Death Prophet does really well against Ember Spirit mid. I'm expecting like a a bursty magic damage support hero that can babysit an Ember. That's what they, I feel like they need and help out in that Death Prophet lane because DP against Ember, I don't know. It's not too bad, but Death Prophet if she gets out of control too early. It's gonna be good with Shadow Shaman. Yeah, they've got huge pushing potential and team fight. They've, right now, they've got better push and better team fight and better ganking potential for Mavericks. And for the record, um. Oh, crap. What's Abaddon's, what's Abaddon's spell? The, um. The um, Aquatic Shield. Yeah. Yep. Does not purge off X. It is not dispellable. The only thing that dispels it is death. So. Yep. That's why X is so good. I hope they don't think that. <laughs> well, um, you can you can get rid of um, Hex, you can get rid of Shackles, you can purge off the Silence. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's still a good ability, obviously, but... So X into Marana, still... Problem, but Marana being played right now. Again, you can purge off the uh, the stun from Marana as well. Oh no, so Marana's on that team. Is there Juggernaut. a Marana being lame though? That's the question. She's support. It's a plus four Marana. She's probably just gonna roam around. Ten seconds remaining. I think they, I think their lanes are pretty weak right now. For yellow solo. Yeah, I feel that as well. But Rubik's not a good, know. not a strong laner. Yeah, Rubik wants to roam. And you know, Juggernaut and Death Prophet do really well in solo lanes on their own. You know, they don't really need too much support from from other heroes. You're gonna have to land those arrows. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of pressure on Marana here uh, to get work done early. Is there a hero here for um, YSMR that pulls this all together? Ten seconds remaining. Um, I'm not sure. They might have something in mind. Like, Marana is like Five that magic bursty remaining. support hero that I was talking about, but it's all situational and usually it's like with another support that's going to help her. What if you ran like a deucer or something for yellow? Hmm. Jug will get defusal. Yeah, defusal's yeah, defusal's not that great. Again, like, it, sure, it's it's minor bone, but you know, it's not it's not Nixon, it's not a lion, it's not a coddle. Yeah, they've got the last pick too. Five seconds remaining. And she's actually a really strong laner as well. Might be a bit too greedy. Like, if things don't go their way and they pick a do so, they just lose, right? Yeah, well, that's, that's the trade off, I guess. Need something that's gonna be very solid. Uh, Nex is in the pool. It could be good here. Nex, yeah. It's assuming that Ember's mid, which should be. Surely. It's just it being picked so early sort of makes you think, you know, is that really what they're doing with it? Well, 
we saw last game that they switched up their try lane and did stuff like that. That was Mavericks actually, but yeah, you know, yeah, yellow, yeah. yellow might have learned from that and they might position themselves a bit better. Tricking. Maybe they go for an aggro try lane. Ember Rubik Mara uh, Ember Rubik Marana. Uh, is that is yeah. that a thing? Is that... I don't think so, but it could be. <laughs> if it comes to that. That's a really good hero. Can drag into torrent and into other things. Another more lockdown for for Ember Spirit as well. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I guess the lockdown of X isn't really enough. Felt like they need something else, which is true. They need more disable. I mean, Ryan is pretty elusive. Awesome. Okay. They're just going for that late game strategy where they try and deal with their lanes pretty early and then hopefully come out with um a little bit more than they expected and actually be able to go late game against those heroes. I don't know. Could work. I think I think that's similar in um in my thinking around the the Medusa. Yep, yep, true. Something that just stays alive and well Morphling has the ability to just get out whenever as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, he he's gonna be able to put pressure and split the map as well, which is something you can't do with Dusa. I mean, yep. you, you sort of can, but it's a but Ember does it as yeah. well. So I don't know. I like that. I like that lineup actually. It's not bad. I still but think, um, we can't sit on the fence. Yeah, I'm still gonna go with Mavericks. Again. I'm also going with Mavericks this game. Yeah, switching that. I just, I just like the draft. I pick the, I'm just picking the drafts each game. <laughs> I think once game, that, yeah. Bat, Bat, Bat Rider gets the blink, they start taking the first tier ones. As long as they, they keep the tempo up, they should be fine. But if they, they drop off at any point and lose a couple of fights to YSM, then things will start going bad. Yeah, that's right. If they, if this goes late, I don't think, I don't think they'll be able to hold on. You know, all these heroes are going to get too big. Like, they're not, they won't be able to deal with... With an Abaddon who's going to have, like, a Radiance and... Shit, tons of health. And we have a minute zero pause. Uh, classic Oz Dota. We might have a, uh, a reconnect here. Looks like there's been some issues. Death Prophet. So what are the cru crucial timings that each of these teams are looking for? So the first one that comes to mind is Batrider's Blink Dagger. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's obviously a timing, but... I think it's more level 6s on the Dyer. Is a big thing. That's they need to take towers straight away, mm -hmm. get on top of their lane straight away. Could they, they go for go? another tri lane? Uh yeah, yeah, I would. Da uh, that's what I was thinking. Like, Shadow Shaman and Juggernaut. Yeah, that's super strong. Uh, and then you you got conquered with the torrent as well. Like, it's easy tor easiest torrents of your life. Yeah, more it like looks, a roaming looks... roaming duo that starts off in the safe lane. That rider probably will need help at some point. But... I think uh, early on, Bat Rider probably just trades farm with Abaddon, and they both get what they need. Like neither of them really kill each other. Uh, we'll think like we the, will um... need to remake the lobby as well. Oh, you think the Abaddon's going to be safe lane? Uh no, I'm expecting Abaddon to be off lane. So we'll see off lane Abaddon and a safe lane Bat Rider. And uh, we'll just hit the splash as we uh, as we make, remake this game. Sorry, guys.
Juggernaut. Ember Spirit. All right. Welcome back once again. We do have uh, Orpic going on, so we should get through this draft nice and quick. Uh, everyone remembering what they picked before. As always, joined by Isolated. Hope they can remember what they picked because I can't. If they don't remember, they can always head to the stream. It's on a five minute <laughs> delay. All right, no was dead a minute zero pause. Patience from Zoe. Kunk is blocking his own team while spamming chat will. <laughs> I actually love this Kunker taunt. <laughs> it's it's my favorite. There's nothing better than like landing a torrent and then uh, taunting as you go in for the uh, the tide bring hit. <laughs> Oh, Nevdi, he's gonna scout out the smoke onto the Death Prophet, pings it out straight away. Interesting position to go for a smoke, I think. Like straight down, straight down like that? Yeah. You're gonna go for it anyway. Smoke hasn't broken, Hawkeye's got the shackles. They're gonna lead with him first this game, smoke pops, who are they gonna catch? They're gonna be able to get anyone as uh, YSMR just split. Hunker's got the torrent, we'll see if he's able to land one. Too busy with the taunt instead. <laughs> this is exactly like last game, uh, they expected the smoke gank and didn't get done. And they're still only going to get two bounties, because uh, Abaddon saw it and went top. They, you know, they revealed too early and Abaddon just moved straight in for it. Yeah, but they're doing that um, Agro trial end. That is, yeah. Batrider versus uh, Abaddon. I think both heroes just get whatever farm they want in that lane. But it is, it is an Agro trial end with the um, Morphling. I mean, they can't really get kills though. Like, YSMR. Well, they can with an arrow. Like, a good arrow. This is true. This is true. You land a 5 second arrow and, and you can definitely get a kill. I mean, they do have pretty good disengage. Like, Torrent's pretty good at stopping those sorts of things. Oh, straight away, Shackles onto the Marana. Torrent connects as well. Juggernaut dropping the Blade Fury. And there is First Blood. Rubik could be next to go. Shackles back off cooldown. And this is the Mavericks show. What is the <laughs> cooldown on that spell? Jeez. Uh, it is 10 seconds. Yeah. Well, if you add in the time that you're actually shackling somebody, it's pretty good. Yeah, 2.75 uh, shackle time. And 10 second duration, so. Well, it was kind of Nevdi's fault for skilling Arrow. You shouldn't skill until you actually use it. I mean, if ne I mean, it's not a bad idea to, to skill Arrow first. I mean, Leap would have saved him by. Oh, Rubik. Punker not in position to be able to get a stun, but it might not matter. Another kill going their way. Looking for the Morphling next. Jumps forward, Rubik juking out through the trees. We'll see if he's able to, to survive long enough. Ah, uh, Nevdi picking up the kill for himself. Morphling, strength morphing as much as he can here. He's cancelled it for now. Morphing is a little bit more strength, trying to keep him alive. He's going to pop the salve. Mana, just getting some nice right clicks out onto the Juggernaut. Nevdi now back. Do you not understand what Kunk is stuck in the trees. Cancels Nevdi's clarity. And Marana, she's the next to fall. Four kills already. It's two minutes. There's five. There's, um, they got a kill. Well, on Mavericks. Four kills on Mavericks. It's insane. I almost feel like uh, when Shadow Shaman ran into Morphling there, he could have just shackled him and gone for a kill. Like, 
Rubik wasn't there, neither was uh, Marana. It's not really respecting the um, Shaman enough. It's gonna get real hard for them to get kills in a second with that combo. Um, once, you know, Marana's got... Rubik's got lift, Marana's got a sacred arrow, and then once we get like adaptive strike, they'll have all the interrupts that they need. Yeah, they won't get a full duration shackles off. Yeah, from they, this point really. They've still like, you know, this morphing's got four CS, five CS. Yeah, they've already they've already done their job. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're still interrupting the CS of Morphling, and that's exactly Abaddon, what you can run this tri lane for. The Abaddon actually goes really good against the Batrider because he gets rid of all the, um, the sticky napalm charges. Yeah, I thought it might have been a bit more even though, and that um, you know, Batrider would be able to get his last hits, even if he's just using Firefly. No, he just chases him down, the movement speed is ridiculous on that hero. I'm mm, killing the mid lane too. Let me miss that one. I think that was a Kunkka aided kill as well. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that Shadow Shaman didn't go for like a 1-1-1 one, one, one build and, and get Hex. I usually get Hex on Shaman. The prize is mine. But last game he went to 2 0 2 as well, so... Like, um... Could, um the level Ether Shock one, damage is huge, though. So. Level 1 Ether Shock is such a huge value point, like 140 damage. And from then on, like, sure, you get an extra two targets, but the damage increase is pretty minimal. Like, it's only 60 damage. To catch Morphling on his own here. You see, if he had Hex here, oh, I mean, he just actually doesn't really have the mana for it. So there isn't really dead, a kill. Yep. Dead Death Rocket in mid. Didn't even oh, need it's that. It's the Hex way. now. Trying to bait out that uh, waveform before committing the, for the Blade Fury. No, we'll allow a head in the mid lane for now, though. 27 to 22. And the spirit going for the max flame guard, which I think is just an absolute necessi necessity in this lane. Look how comfortable they are in this in this laning configuration, though. Ooh, maybe Juggernaut's overstayed his welcome here. And uh, Shadow Shaman might be the one that pays the price for it. Courier delivers him a reward before he goes down. And Nevi picks up the kill for himself. I think uh, maybe Juggernaut overstayed his welcome there with the Blade Fury. Definitely. Yeah, it just left Shadow Shaman vulnerable. Like, they weren't going to get the kill onto Juggernaut, but... And I was just saying how comfortable um, they were feeling in that laning configuration where they could rotate the Conqueror around wherever they wanted. Marana just denied the regen. Yeah, I saw, that. I saw that. I saw that too. And um, Death Prophet had just popped the bottle charge onto the Conqueror as well. <laughs> oh, stun connects onto Conqueror. Mm, Rubik does not have enough mana for the lift or the fade vault, so Conqueror's going to be just fine and taunts his way out. It's so obnoxious to be on the receiving end of one of those taunts, though. <laughs> I think um, it's going to come down to Abaddon really doing a lot for YSM. Because at the moment they're not looking to... It's hard for Morphling to get anything done. Trying to actually farm, he's always been under pressure. Always worried. Is this the sort of game where um, maybe you bite the bullet as Morphling and, and, and once you get your 6 you just go jungle with an Iron Talon? Oh, here's no the Shackles, Torrent combination, Juggernaut dropping the Blade Fury. Trying to keep himself alive but... Aethershock picks up the kill. Good job, Hawk IPS. Run arrow, not going to connect onto anything. And with a couple stuns on cooldown, you know, they've got Hex again. He's gone for two points in uh, Shackles. I 
Lift onto Morph? No, sorry, uh, lift onto the Shadow Shaman. A lot of damage coming in. Morphling jumps really far backwards, trying to pick up a kill on Pandora. But uh, he's going to be just fine. That was nearly really good because the Juggernaut actually blocked the arrow. But the um, Shaman was grabbing the wrong target. If you grab the Morphling, then they wouldn't have done as much damage. I think you might have lived. Yeah, it was really the waveform that made that made yeah. that happen, I think. It's hard not to stack the Torrent with the... Um, Shackles there, though. Yeah, it, it's it's often just better to 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 stack in. Pray to pray to the Lord. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ember and DP are just facing off there. It's pretty standard. Uh, lane's pretty much going in uh, Noble House favor though. Fifty-two to forty-three. Like that's a I'd call that a, a pretty convincing win. Considering that the DP got ganked too. Well, so did the Ember Spirit. Oh, yeah, that's true. They're both, uh, they're both 0, 1, and 1. Baden's going Midas too. Securing that foam. Yeah, you can definitely go for it. Like, he's got the second highest uh, last hits in the game right now. 49 and 17. Uh, Batrider's caught back up though. Like, he's 41 and 2. And they've they've completely moved this tri lane. Yep, they're doing it again. Do you think they've just decided that they need to pressure the Abaddon instead? Yeah, well, I feel like I don't know if it's their plan, but they always shut down the safe lane very hard with like an aggressive tri lane, and then they they just make sure that they secure farm on their safe lane. Though. Can they just kill him here? X marks the spot. Torrent's gonna pull him back. They've got the blade fury, and they're gonna commit it. But uh, what are they going to have? Yeah, he drops the uh, the ultimate early, and they don't have X marks to spot. In comes Rubik for the backup, but there's the shackles. Ultimate committed. Torrent's going to come through. Does manage to get the aquatic shield off in time. Slowed up now. Kill going to Juggernaut. Right click finishes that off. And here comes the Ember Spirit onto the Kunker. A lot of damage. Getting pulled back. Manages to stay alive. Very well timed X marks his bot, but Ember Spirit, he's got the haste and he's just gonna run him down. See you later, Kunker. Oh, Death Prophet's taking mid though. It's at a cost. Yeah, Ember Spirit's back now, really low on HP. I don't know if you really want to fight into this though. Oh, got still a deny the tower, tower, I think. Yeah, oh, DP, wait. I, I feel like oh, my God. Didn't oh, get it. they didn't get it. Is that but obscene finally, damage. Space for Morphling. Still a trade with the top tower there. You know, this is not going too bad for YSMR at the moment. No, not too bad. Considering that they moved that whole lane up there, the Morphling's got a bit of space now. Yeah, like he's 42 and 24 right now. Like that's. Considering his lane, I'm I'm pretty impressed at his last hits to be honest. Like he's zero one in three, forty four last hits and twenty six to nice. How no. hard can you really complain about that? I mean, no, he's dealt with it the best he can, definitely. He's ahead of the juggernaut right now in last hits. He's only two hundred gold behind him in in overall net worth as well. Oh, but there's the blink. Lasso from the Batrider. Oh, not quite pulling him back in time to get him into the torrent, but Shackles is there anyway, and well, they get the kill. And shunts him a little bit further back in the net worth. They don't have the Shadow Shaman Mass Serpent Ward, so they're going to have to take all the Death Prophet Exorcism. So it looks like they're going to have to take this tower the good old fashioned way. It really doesn't look like they want to try and stop this either, does it? Uh, like, Mirana's in the area, but none of the cores are, are rotating in. That was a really quick... Actually, actually, here's, Ember, actually, here's Ember Spirit, here's Abaddon, here's Morphling back, they do want something. Maverick's backing off and... Conker, taunting again. It's pretty far up. Not gonna be, Not gonna be punished for that, though.
Exorcism, back off cooldown. They can take a fight here if they want to. She managed, she drops the Exorcism. She's taken a lot of Stole damage it. though. It's all the Exorcism. That's, that's so huge. That's, that's amazing. So uh, uh, Juggernaut not going to have enough for his Omni Slash. She does have three stick charges. So maybe he will be able to get off in the end. No, unfortunately not. He's going to go down. <laughs> and with the stolen Exorcism. It is. It is a disaster for sure. Yeah, Ma Maverick's lineup is very pick off -y, Whereas um, YSM loves to run straight into you and just bowl you over. Just shows there. Ember just ran in and got hexed. He didn't even care. Stolen exorcism there. Doing so much damage. Yeah, where's my fight? Where's my fight recap? I really wanted to see uh, who the damage he did. Maybe I missed it. Next marks the spot under the Abaddon. Yeah, really not the hero you wanna you wanna catch. Pulling him back though. Uh, Borrowed time's gonna be off cooldown in just a second. Uh, X is on DP. Yeah. Stolen, no, stolen X marks. Oh, okay. Can <laughs> I say? Wow! If I hadn't seen it, I'll, you can't tell. <laughs> I think it was a bit panicky from Mavs just then. Hey, how do you feel about Rubik getting uh, an Arcana? Did he actually get it or did. Who was who it between? Uh, it, Pudge and Rubik. And Rubik got it? No, 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 it hasn't been revealed yet. But oh, okay. don't you want it? Oh, definitely. I'd love, I love to see hero. what they can do with a Rubik Arcana. Do you, do you play Rubik, though? Uh, I have, but I don't play him. I have played him, <laughs> but I do not play him. Uh, such a fun hero, man. Easily one of the... Probably my funnest hero, apart from like, the obvious Invoker and Moranas and stuff. Because you can do so much with that hero. Like, that that fight just then, like... be ridiculous what would happen with any other hero apart from Rubik just then. Stealing exorcism, it's huge. Such a big cast animation on it as well. Yeah, and he does it instant. <laughs> Can you steal the spell the moment that they use it, or is it only after the spell is like actually activated? Because you've got like that big cast point on exorcism. I think like once they press the button is when you can press the button. If that right. makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, no, that no, makes perfect sense. How are you feeling about uh, Maverick's chances this game? Um, I don't know. They need to stop freaking out and they need to start playing a little bit more stable. Ooh, Can down in the bot lane, they found themselves the Shadow Shaman. It looks like he's going to be the first to fall here. He does get his shackles off. In comes the Boutrider. Gets the lasso out onto the Ember Spirit, but uh, doesn't last long enough. And it looks like uh, he's going to pay the price with his life. Another stolen. X marks the spot, brings him back, and there's a kill. That didn't go how they wanted. No. That seems to be the uh, the order of the day here for early game Mavericks. They even had the ward there, right? I don't understand why they didn't position themselves a bit better for that fight, but... There wasn't enough of them there. Juggernaut wasn't there. Death Prophet wasn't there. No. It was just, uh, I think it was just the Kunker. Shadow Shaman and the Batrider. I think they just didn't anticipate how many of YSM were going to be in the area. I think they were expecting just like a clean pickoff. Mavericks need to start playing pickoff into take tower mode. And they need to stop losing anybody. Otherwise, they're just going to lose tempo very quickly. Death Prophet, well. top lane, level 12, drops the exorcism. Starting to work away on this tower. Juggernaut does have the healing ward, but you know, they're TPing people in now. Abaddon running up from behind. They're gonna get this tower, that's for sure. And who are they gonna catch here? Kunkka moving forward. X Marks pulls him backwards just a little bit. In comes the rest of the backup from the boys. The boys are in town. Next is gonna finish up now. Yeah. So once Exorcism's finished, they should just go back and farm. That's what you'd expect. And then once their their ultis are back up, like Lasso and all that, they can go back. 
Like, this or is, even this go is... for a smoke with four people instead of DP being there. Like, I think if you've got exorcism, you can afford to use um, Shadow Shaman's Serpent Wars for like an attack. Like, uh, you get a lasso pick off, and then like it, that sets you up for like the easiest Serpent War trap of your life. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that could work, but it's hard to do that. <laughs> I mean, it would work on actually not many of their heroes. <laughs> now that I think about it, Marana leaps out, uh, Ember Spirit uh, Fire Remnants out, Morphling Waveforms out, Abaddon just lives through it. Uh, it really only works on a Rubik, I think. <laughs> See, um, the mix-up of. Your draft usually is going to be lockdowns for the right clickers, right? And the only right clickers that they have is Juggernaut on Mavericks. So I think they're finding it a bit hard to actually do damage once they've grabbed somebody at the moment until they get items. They don't have like they a have huge a... amount of nuke, do they? No, well they they got these long cooldowns and like Shadow Shaman doesn't really offer anything as far as damage goes and Kunk is more lockdowny. Slowish. He does have burst damage, but it's not enough. To X mark deal with current them. combination. They've got enough heroes here to get the job done. There's Abaddon. Pops the ultimate early, but uh, Juggernaut's going to have the ulti. He might just throw it here, but it's going to be able to get away. In comes another X marks combination. It's torrented back out, and there's the kill. Batrider stunned up. Does have the lasso here now as well, so oh, we'll be able to get something. Death Prophet drops the ultimate. They've got the Ember Spirit, and he's going to go down. Lasso back out onto that Morphling. I think this is looking to be a very good fight for Mavericks. Morphling trying his best to get away. Activates the Shrine, but he's going to go down and they get the Courier to boot. Mavericks, nice. that's what you wanted. That's that's the fight that they needed. The three-man silence on DP there made all the difference. Absolutely huge. 2,500 gold swing. This early in the game, that's fairly significant. They need to get this mid tower though, or at least do something with this. Oh, they're gonna try. Unfortunately, there's no mass serpent wards. They're putting vision. Just they're putting vision up. Yeah, no objectives for them. But I mean, when you kill the entire team, I feel like that's almost an objective enough of itself at this point. It is, but like I said, these heroes—they don't—they're not gonna scale as well as the other heroes. The, the juggernaut's gonna get to a point that. And he can kill somebody, but then can he go take tower and take the racks like straight after? It can be hard to say. Yeah, he's really not that sort of that sort of hero. Like for sure, Juggernaut is really great at um, at hitting towers. Your know, healing ward's great. Blade Fury gives you you know almost a, a free way to to take a tower without having more, worrying about like being burst down, but you know he's not a lunar. Ember's got bots now too, so you can shoot around, defend all the lanes and push them in. Yeah, he'll be able to put a lot of global pressure on the map. Uh, Morphling not going for BOTs, he's gone for Perseverance and Power Treads. Uh, going for a fairly classic Lincoln Sphere first build. Uh, very sensible this game as well, uh, given the, the heroes that he's up against. Baden's gonna have Radiance in 1k. Pretty oh, dangerous. and here's a, here's a smoke. They've, they've scanned him. They know he's there. There's the Blink Dagger. Immediately starts with the Strength Gain. Gets it off before the Silence comes through. But there's the Shackles, Boat, Torrent combination. Uh, fires before everything. the boat even connects. Yeah, uh, everything in the kitchen sink. The only thing they didn't use there was wards, I think. Oh, they didn't use Exorcism. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, they've got all the tools. Oh, they didn't use... Like, Jug wasn't there, so they didn't use the Jug ultimate. This looks like a pretty uh, pretty easy tower for them, I'd say, with all these ultimates up. Yep. This is a good choice. Kill kill somebody, use Exorcism, take something. This is how exactly how the draft is supposed to work? Yeah. I feel. I, do you, have they overcommitted with the yeah, ultimates, really. though? Oh, Jesus. Stole Woods and put them down for free gold. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that didn't go quite as planned. But do you think <laughs> they overcommitted the ultimates here? Like, did they really need the Serpent Wards and the Exorcism? Um, I'm not sure if they could see the other heroes on the map and where they are, but yeah, I'd say so. Well, 
Yeah, they just lost mid and they're probably gonna lose top, which actually isn't that good of a trade. Oh, I don't know if Ember Spirit's gonna be able to take top. Oh, good. I don't really push fast enough. Doing that much damage to a tier 2 though, it's pretty big. Yeah. Other than the fact that they um, they lost that fight, um, they almost came out even in the in the in the trade. Yep. You can't watch this concrete; just keeps taunting. So annoying. <laughs> You've have you got the taunt on Kunker? <laughs> if if you had it, you'd understand. <laughs> it's like when um. You know, parents say, oh, you know, you won't understand until you've got your own kid. You really won't understand until you've got the torrent. The taunt. <laughs> taunt. I'm not a material girl. I don't spend money in this game. Too much. Maybe just a couple hundred. I, um... Uh, I've, I've pretty much got the Aegis this year. It's, it'll be my first time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, it just happened, man. You know, like, I never intended for, the, for it to go this way. I... I bought the battle pass and you know the weekend came around this is where it started the weekend came around where you got like the the, the 20 bucks for the 80 levels and I, and I got that and then you know I'm level 300 and I'm sort of like oh yeah I'm getting closer you know maybe it's on the horizon that's, that's exactly why it's set up that way <laughs> I, I know I've bought into it haven't I <laughs> Ember Spirit uh, not tanking that gank manages to escape some of, it's a bit clunky there um the ganking's a bit clunky, I find, like, half the time they're, like, shackling and then they'll silence on top, or they'll, like, lasso and silence on top and torrent when they don't need to, or something. Like, it's, uh, obviously, it's pretty easy, like, in theory, to set up things like this, but without decent practice, like, as a team, it's always going to be like that. Yeah, see, that was unfortunate. Ember Spirit moved back at the same time that uh, Batrider blinked in, so he wasn't in yeah. range for the lasso. It was just, it's just bad luck. I think Batrider maybe overshot the blink by a little bit, but... He's got four stuff blink now, so... He's going for yours next to next These items will help Mav a lot with these pushes. Well, the yours is going to be huge against the Ember Spirit. Like, that's a way for him to to purge off the Flame Guard. Uh, he can cancel... Well, nullify, I guess, the, uh, the Lincolns on Morphling. Stop Morana from uh, mid leap, and it's going to be able to buy them more time when Abaddon pops his ult. Like, well, Trubing just keeps getting caught. Like when they're taking towers. Oh, they've got they've got wards. They're just going to push this. They got DD too. DD. Abaddon's going to pop his ulti, but he probably just dies here. Yep, there's the ultimate being committed. Ooh. Fortunately, not able to pick up the kill, managing to escape, but I think maybe they get the shrine, the, the tower here. Maybe, maybe. Kunk has still got his ghost ship. Yeah, they're not out of this fight. And here it comes, manages to not connect. Fight starting to look the other way now. Death Prophet in a bit of trouble, getting worked down. High ground and Scroats and Pandera on the retreat. Definitely overstayed that fight. You know, I understand that frame of mind though. Oh, D Wood with the stolen X marks the spot manages to pull the Batrider back, but does have the Blink Dagger and he's able to get escape. I have to praise the, uh, the D Wood Rubik though, like. He gets all the right steals, doesn't he? He does. And honestly, there'd be like almost no faults in the way that he plays Rubik if he stopped getting caught at the towers for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, I that mean, pushed started off him getting lassoed out of nowhere. It really, it really wouldn't be fair if uh, if he didn't, if he was, you know, if he didn't get picked off because then you know he'd be perfect, and that's not fair to the rest of us. Exactly. Game's about balance, right? That's it. Balance, balance in all things. They get um Ags and Radiance, Ags and Marana. Yeah, Luna's yeah. gonna turn into a core here for sure. Uh, Luna. Lena. <laughs> Luna, Lena, Marana. 
one of the one of the, one of the horse girls. <laughs> the horse girls. She rides the mountain thing. It's not really a horse, is it? It's, I don't know. Uh, that is. I don't have no idea what the hell that is that she's riding right now. Some sort of weird lion. Is it like a Yeevee's mount or something? Is that what that is? I don't know. At some point, Bat Rider's riding a manta ray in one of my games. The next time he's riding a bat, I'm like, is he manta rider? Is he bat rider? I don't know anymore. Just don't question anything. Just let him go crazy with cosmetics so people spend shitloads of money on this game. Yeah, like like me this uh, this TI season. What does your missus say? Just nothing. She doesn't know. <laughs> I spent it on stickers, love. Shit. Yeah, it may as well be stickers. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. She, she doesn't know. It's uh, it's just part of like my little my little slush fund. <laughs> Siphon out money. That's right. She doesn't she doesn't watch my Twitch. She doesn't check my YouTube channel. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> We're Gucci. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like 996 at the moment. In it's, what debt? Uh, I wish I had 996 dollars in debt. <laughs> Dirt to death. 996 levels is what I've got at the moment. Oh, really? That's huge. Yeah, so uh, I'll have the Aegis. I, I might even have it by the time I go to bed tonight. <laughs> should, um, you should get points for watching games. Like, seeing through the whole game. Yeah, that'll be good. Maybe they'll implement that. You know how um, occasionally, like, you get, like, an item in-game? Like, you know, three viewers have received... Bluff of uh, witnessing yeah, the first yeah. blood. Have you ever received something from that? No, no. I don't even know how that works. I just always assumed that it was like some sort of like pay to gamble thing. No, I don't think you pay anything. Ooh. See you later, Shadow Shaman. Does manage to drop the wards off before he dies though. Vote being committed, so they're gonna have all the uh all the benefit of that rum. R Rubik! Did he Rubik's still exorcise again? Oh. No, he didn't. That was a death prophet's exorcism. Maverick's on the retreat now. Barrider using himself up. Gonna keep him alive for now. See if he's able to escape. He does have the blink dagger up in a second. I thought Rubik had stolen uh, exorcism again there, but... No, he stole um, Omni Slash. That's why you're so far out, because you wanted to use it. Oh, he actually bought back that fight. Yeah. He said Blade Fury before, but it actually meant Omni Slash. So he just like ran out and got roasted again. This is... They're gonna push here? Oh, they're just going so aggressive. This is actually a good play. Oh, they're gonna catch the Death Prophet. We'll see if she's able to escape. No... Life for now, but... Yeah, there she goes. That's not really the end of the world, is it? Like, your Death Prophet had Exus on cooldown. No, I don't think they can go high ground not with these heroes. Do they have enough tower damage at this point? Actually, Morphling does fairly decent damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, they certainly can when they pick up the Shadow Shaman like that. Uh, Abaddon, ultimate getting popped. He's uh, nearly got his Octarine core. In fact, he will after, after this fight finishes. Buyback being forced on the Death Prophet. Doesn't have the exorcism Rubik gonna uh, Blade Fury himself away. They do manage to get a kill onto the Abaddon, so I mean, that's not nothing. Yeah, it was sort of like a bad trade. So I was saying, they, they shouldn't have gone high ground there, but if they did get another pick or something, it would be been alright. So, I mean, Death Prophet Even had to Roshan. buy back, but when we. Did she count... buy back just then? Yes, yeah, she did. Really? Yep. Wow. I don't think she really contributed to uh, to the kill, but it did force uh, YSMR to have a second thought and, and back up. And with, yeah, with Abaddon on the sideline, they're going to be able to rush here. And she'll uh, she'll pop exorcism for this in a second too, I imagine. I don't think she needed to buy back. They yeah, do get rushed. I, I think the buyback was unnecessary, but. Roche is a nice consolation. Just means that they have to um, push really hard on this next two minute mark. 
I'm really shocked that they didn't give that Aegis to Death Prophet. Hmm. That she you know, she doesn't have a buyback now. Like if she dies, she's dead. Questionable, definitely. But... I guess the thinking is that uh, you know once Death Prophet's ultimate's off cooldown, she doesn't really maybe contribute a whole lot. Yeah, but she does. She does a lot as a hero. She she's a frontlining tanky hero. Yeah, that you she's have she's more of a tank, really, isn't she? Yeah. Whereas Jug Jug has damage. a lot of ways to escape and dodge. Oh, around they're gonna be able to get him. They've got the silence now as well. We'll see if Ember Spirit's gonna be able to last long enough. But in comes the rest of the team, and the order of Atos is gonna keep him right in place as they get the kill. It's a big kill. Yeah, he's on the sidelines for 60 seconds. They don't have exorcism though, so. But yeah, shrines. Shrines are a thing. I think they still go. They can still go now with the Aegis and Jogger, and then just play. And Fury. they've got uh, serpent wards too. Is this their opening to uh, to take a rax? Uh, it looks like they certainly think so. It's going to be an awkward fight, but they pulled off, it's good. Shadow Shaman drops the wards once again and is the first one dead in the fight. Juggernaut does not have his ultimate, at least for the moment. They're going to pop the, uh, the healing ward and they didn't really get much damage done on that uh, that range rax. So the melee rax. Ooh, Aegis getting popped, chasing down the Death Prophet now. Morphin trying to see what he can get out of this. In comes the boat, manages to connect onto oh, two, God. and Death Prophet exits a back off cooldown now. Jug dropping the ultimate, manages to take down one. Ember Spirit going down as away. well. Ah, oh, another one going down. Who did they get there? Was that? Oh, that was the Death Prophet that died. Thanks to uh, Rubik with the stolen Omni Slash. Conqueror on the retreat, uh, does not have a TP. DevD knows he's there. Glimmer the Cape gonna let him juke out for a little bit longer. Shoot an arrow in the trees. I was just thinking that, like, you just stand here <laughs> and you just shoot an arrow that way. It's easy to say that when you have a complete view of the map. Yeah, you're right, but I mean, where else was he gonna go? Like, you had your creeps up here. I mean, maybe he goes into there, but I mean, if you're not there, like, the only chance is to, is to shoot the arrow. Yeah, there's a four staff. I guess he could have, like, just juked completely and forced away, but. To be, to be honest, I wouldn't have stopped in the trees there if I was a conqueror. So it's hard to tell where people are going. That was, that was a really big fight, like. Surprisingly, they didn't take anything with it. Cause, probably because the Shaman died instantly. Yeah, once he's dead, like, he gets the wards down, but he keeps dying. Like, he has to get so out of position to drop them. I don't think he has to drop them, like, right next to the racks, like he did, though. Do you least, think like, he used them as, like, a zoning tool? Like, like maybe put them, like, if you look, I don't know if you're looking um, at their towers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but do you drop them at the top of the, the stairs the so stairs? that um, yeah. it's hard for them to engage into the fight? Yeah. That's what that's how I thought because the Rubik actually stole wards again and put his right next to the other wards. December's so poor now though. Yeah, thirteen hundred. Um, but yeah, you know, he's still ahead of the Death Prophet. Yeah, the Mavs just need to get straight back in there and try and take something, otherwise. This game goes very bad, very quick. They are, they are grouped up and smoke. We're gonna have from Shadow Shaman in just a sec. They heard you, man. They were listening. Everybody. Everybody listens. Flaming Lasso's off cooldown. Ooh. They know they're there. Scan was, a, was successful. They drop everything and. Every, everybody's out. Unfortunately, Mirana did get dusted up earlier, so they are going to be able to catch her. Quick X marks the spot, though. Stops her from being able to get out and all. 
Yeah, well played by Kunker. But the Ember is going to push top and the Abba is going to push mid, so they can't do anything. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get anything from that. Though, they've found themselves with Rubik. Lasso's pull down. They do have dust though, so they're gonna find him. Living for now. Let's see what's he stolen. He's got Omni Slash again! Drops it onto the Batrider! Almost enough to kill him. He's on the on the retreat. He stole Flame Blake break while he's um Omni Slashing. D would Rubik. Jesus Christ. I'm not surprised that they keep picking it for him game after game. Yeah, they first pick it, so... Pretty confident. But he got Glimmer Cape first, which... You never really see on a Rubik unless it's going really bad. It's, uh... It's definitely paying for itself, though. Yeah, it is. But help the... rest of the... Oh, no, not the rest of the... Sorry, the, um... Abba the other time. I think there's been a couple of times where maybe there's uh, there's been want of a four staff or a blink dagger. Blink dagger is just so good for stealing and positioning yourself in a way that you can use abilities that you know you have already. I think this is gonna end up being pretty bad once December gets all this farm. Yeah, what's the uh, what's the timing here that YSMR are looking for? Like, Mavericks have been pretty aggressive. Probably 25 on Ember and E-Blade. One more. And then I feel like the game's over after that. Once they do that, then they should just be able to pop pop people and Abo will just be the massivest, hugest farmed off laner. He's second to net worth right now. Yeah. Like this is this is a pos one Abaddon. He's, He's going ag now too. Even now, I feel like they're way stronger. Well, they are. It's just um, Mavericks have been using smoke ganks and stuff to catch them off guard. Yeah, they've been get, they've been uh, successfully getting these pickoffs. Juggernaut, quick TP out, Blade Fury TP. Nowhere to stop that. Batrider's nearly got a BKB. Uh, what's Juggernaut looking for? Uh, looks like he's going for a Bissell Blade next. How do you feel about the um, IS Guardi? I felt like maybe he could have used with the Blink Dagger this game. I think he needs damage, man. They don't have that right quick damage. He's been staying at heaps, but. What would you what would you be building on him for for damage? Probably, um, I don't know. I probably would have went SMY or something this game. Like as as far as I Scotty goes, like yeah, HP is good because he's expecting that E blade and stuff. But the the SMY does the same thing. Gives you a slow. Gives you more damage than I Scotty. And then like the slow with the diffusal blade is already good enough I don't know mm, that's true it's the, it's not that bad of an item to be honest but yeah it's not bad yeah. it's very hard for jug actually this game item to us maybe butterfly eventually I think if there's one thing that uh, the game lacks at the moment is like if you are a hero that has crit built in there's not a lot of like pure damage items available yeah. Like, Abyssal Blade isn't the damage item that it used to be. Uh, you don't really see it that much anymore, right? That's, well, uh, he had it uh, in his quick buy earlier. So it looks
looks like he's going for a travel boots, which is not a bad idea considering the mobility that they have on uh, YSMR. Death Prophet looking for a heart of Tras next. That feels pretty, pretty good, I think. Maybe the only other thing you'd consider is a Shivas. Yeah. She's just afraid of getting blown up. 2k HP. Hmm. I don't know, it feels really, really hard for Mavra right now, I think. You need to really make huge game breaking. They need to kill them and they need to take rush. Who they're looking for there? They've got themselves an Abaddon. Probably not the hero you want to be able to have to start things on, but Boat connects onto two. Abaddon popping the ult nice and early. Morphling keeping him alive. Dragonaut's got the Blade Fury out. We'll see if we're able to get anything here. Shadow Shaman gonna pay for that disable with his life. Abaddon down though. Uh, in return, they managed to pick up the Shadow Shaman. Nevdi, maybe just a little bit too deep there. Not being able to get punished for it. Death Prophet, staying alive just a little bit longer. Next one to go, though. Stolen Crypt Swarm by Rubik. I think maybe d -Wood needs to back off a little bit on his Rubik. Like, this is how you get your, your hero first faced. Yeah. I feel like if they didn't grab the Abaddon and they grabbed any other hero, they probably would have had a better chance of winning the fight. Yeah, uh, Abaddon is not the hero that <laughs> you want to that you want to go on. Yeah, it's probably the one that you want to leave to last. But the more thing was super low too. You really just want to ignore him. Oh, Batrider! He whiffed the flaming lasso. He got a creep. Um. Ooh, they might be able to catch themselves Nevdi here. Chasing him down. Uh, one Diffusal Blade charge left. Four stars forward. Blade Fury gets activated. Nevdi getting juked out. Shadow Shaman, though. Uh, Invis, he's caught himself the Morphling. We'll see if they're able to connect him. But no, he's able to get out just in time. These fights are just not going in their favor. They can't... No, they can't kill the heroes that they need to. It's really hard because Shadow Shaman has no items. I didn't realize, but without no no blink, no four staff, from buying all these boards to see what's going on on the map, it's impossible for him to actually catch anyone. Yo, know, how long ago did they get that that mid tower? Oh, just yeah. It's still getting rushed. Now. Twenty minutes ago, I think it was. Yeah, and this is the tempo falling off right now, and we'll start seeking into Ember's tempo, and it's going to take a lot. And Morphling's got his E Blade now, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's his power spike. He's going to blow up this uh, Shadow Shaman pretty quick. Actually, he's pretty tanky. He's got 1500 HP. Ember might screw up here. Uh, oh. maybe? Yep, he's stuck. Look how tanky he is. Shackles, uh, are they gonna have enough? Uh, yep. Yeah, they are. Death Prophet, though, staying alive. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Cheese. They need to go now. Ember's dead. It's the only time that the lanes aren't gonna be pushed. Uh, they do have wards. Shadow Shaman really close to really close to level 18 though, but he's not gonna have it for this next push. I feel like this is really dangerous for them. They don't have exorcism. Um, they don't have okay, Lasso's back off cooldown in a second. But they have no choice though. Hopefully he doesn't put the wards too close this time. Or get him stolen. Yeah he does. He did. And he <laughs> it, both of those things happen. But <laughs> they got the ribbon pretty quick. Instant buyback, though. They need and, to uh, he might find himself a range rack with the two. Yep, they finally got themselves a rack. Abaddon on the front line, doing what he can to zone everybody back out. Uh, his ultimate still has not oh, been popped. Oh, I mean, Ravage. Ah, oh, Abaddon's ultimate Aegis. gets popped. 
Look at the Aegis, he should be fighting, I reckon. And uh, look, look at the, all the HPs, and Abaddon's ult just went off cooldown. Was that the yeah. time that they had to turn, was that, should they just have turned around then? I think so, I think you just like juke around there and then like, you got BKB on friggin Batrider, you got all these, these things to oh, kite I think with. they're gonna catch themselves a Shadow Shaman. It's the e -blade Four combo, away. Uh, oh, okay, you know I was saying that I thought that maybe he lives through that? <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. That can his HP gone from the E-Blade so. Yeah, I was really wrong. It's only gonna get damage. worse, too. This, it doesn't get worse than instant dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the only thing worse than instant dead is like... You get so dead that you it's just, it disables your buyback. There's only one hero yeah, that can do that. You have died three times. Yeah, the Reaper's uh, That's the hero that I want to start playing and investigate for this meta. <laughs> Twitch chat's Twitch chat's asking uh, if I have face cam. Uh, no, I don't. I'll uh, I'll put I'll put up a photo later on of um, what my dog did to uh, my webcam. I've uh, bought a collie that loves to chew. The quality on it was uh, was pretty shit anyway. But uh, but face cam's actually something I'm looking I'm looking into at the moment. Maybe it'll come out if there's enough demand for it. But uh, meanwhile. Pushes on again. Mavericks is just relentless here. You got the Aegis, gotta do it. Gotta do what you gotta do. Gem on Batrider too. They want this, uh, they want this Rax. They got the, the X on the Shadow Shaman so he doesn't die this time. Ultimate pop pretty quick for the Abaddon. Yeah, it looks like it could be going in their favor for the moment. Death Prophet though, using herself up. Boat, not going to connect, so she's not going to get the benefit of that, but down goes the Abaddon. Ember Spirit could be next. He does have the Invis, though, as the stolen boat connects onto the Juggernaut, who uh, might find himself getting clicked down pretty quick. Does have the Aegis, though. Does not have an ultimate to get himself out. Ooh, Invis. Uh, they do have Dust. So, it looks like he's going to go down. And... Rest of Mavericks on the retreat. That was good, but that should have happened 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. And now I feel they're going to get punished for it. Yeah, they're just going to lose yeah. Lenraxi. They're going to be forced to buy back. And they're not going to have the ultimates to to really take the fight either. It's the rum working with the DP ulti and you can't kill her because she's got rum on her. Actually, uh, DP didn't benefit from rum that fight. She didn't? Yeah, she yules herself at the same time the boat passed over her. Oh, that's true. Honoring why they're not aiming her. Oh, they've managed to catch the Morphling though. Uh, a Photic Shield though, cancelling it pretty quickly. But they are gonna not be able to connect. Uh, unfortunately, Morphling gets himself out, but he's right out of the fight. He was forced to replicate, so he's nowhere near them right now. And they might be able to catch themselves another kill on the Abaddon, who turns around and runs back in. Everyone benefiting from the, the borrowed time here. Death Prophet oh. doesn't manage to quite juke out the... Uh, was at the E Blade, but no follow up to follow thanks to the Yule's Scepter. They're looking for the Ember Spirit now. Nice shackles wow. from Hawkeye Pierce. And now they're looking for the Rubik who doesn't have a buyback. Gets Yule's up. Uh, Torrent's gonna miss, but it's not gonna matter. They're gonna get it anyway. They're gonna be able to get any more from this. Kunkar right up the front line. Gets an X marks the spot. <laughs> no, he doesn't. They do have a Lincoln's and Death Prophet dying to these illusions from Morphling. Have they ex overextended themselves here? Batrider's not there. The main problem. Hawkeye, what are you doing? <laughs> Buying space, I guess, for for your team. There's another huge silence that led into that fight being won by Mav. Oh, they managed to grab themselves the Morphling, but once again replicates himself out, and he's not there for the rest of the fight. He's back at the base. All right, they managed to catch Nevdi. Boat connects, looking for the Abaddon. Now they're chasing him down. He's not going to be able to get out of this one. He does have the ultimate, but... Oh, he's going to go for the TP. Is there any way of cancelling this? They have 
shitloads of ways of cancelling that ambitious play <laughs> by the Abaddon. Very they ambitious TP. They get an X and two wheels, which is efficient. Okay, now they need to win the game. Yeah, they've got uh, they've got uh, torrent. Uh, X marks the spot. Um, a Yule Scepter does... Uh, Juggernaut doesn't mean he's stun anymore with Omni Slash, does he? Mm, no. Uh, they have an Atos, a, a Yule Scepter, um, another Yule Scepter, and Flaming Lasso. <laughs> That's how many ways of cancelling a TP that they have. But, Mavericks, on the front foot once again. Unfortunately, uh, Ulti on cooldown for a little bit, and a Shadow Shaman not in the area to drop wards, although he does have uh, his level 6 wards. They're looking for a kill here. They managed to connect it onto the Morphling, who once again is forced to replicate himself away, but uh, not too far this time. He's just going to be back in the, the well. Juggernaut pops the Omni Slash and doesn't get anything for it, unfortunately. And is that Ruby oh, with the wow. stolen Omni Slash? Stolen Omni Slash? Uh, Stolen X marks the spot. Stolen Serpent Wards, but dies before he gets to place those once again. Death Prophet going down. No, it wasn't actually. That was the Abaddon that went down. Looks like he just got. Uh, he did get e baited up to try and save his life. And another lane of Rax. Going for Mavericks. Clutch. Clutch silences coming out from DP. Just like that. How long is the silence? Uh, max silence? On, on the Ember Spirit, six seconds. So, like, he goes in, he slider fist, comes out, gets silenced for six seconds, and he's dead. Because he can't is, run away. This is what happens when you second pick your, your Ember Spirit. Yeah, that and, you know, the Scardy with the Juggernaut. Just, I didn't expect him to do that much damage, to be honest, but he's got the MKB now, so. Yeah, he does. He does. That was, I would have replaced that with the Butterfly, like I said, but the MKB is just that huge damage. I well, don't really I mean, what's Morphling going to get now that he's got his Ether Blade? Yeah, yeah, so that's the other end of the stick. Just a, just a preemptive Monkey King bar. I mean, he needed the damage anyway, so it's not bad. Yep. He's, uh, he's, he's gonna hate being out of the charges, though. Yeah, you get a scout, you don't really care about the fusel anymore. Uh, it's still a uh, way to pop Lincolns. Yeah, yeah true. Do three of them have Lincoln. <laughs> they have a lot of Lincolns. They have three Lincoln spheres. But, not going to stop him from catching the Abaddon. Rhyna's going to pop the, the ultimate, see if she can buy a little bit of time for him. Borrow a little bit of time for him, one might say. Abaddon, though, does have the ultimate. going to stay alive for now. And that Invis is just lasting forever. It took him so long to kill him, and they lost the Shadow Shaman in the process. But now they're chasing down the Rubik. Four staffs out. Manages to get a good save from the Morphling thanks to the Ethereal Blade, but he's not going to have it for the offensive Morphling going down. Exorcism being popped by Death Prophets, and now they're on the retreat. We'll see if they're able to get themselves DC 28. I oh, know they're not. Uh... Gem on the deck now, though. Maybe that's why they're going for the Abaddon every time, because he doesn't have a Lincolns. I didn't <laughs> think about it that way. It took them so long to kill him, and uh, YSMR just weren't able to get into the fight fast enough. Really good fights coming out from Mav, actually. Just working out for them every time from Mav. This DP is pretty rich now, too. They're really making this lineup work. Yeah. Like, we were worried about them getting this late into the game, but they are really making it work. Just They're just so constantly aggressive that they're just not letting up. Yeah, they're confident. They're confident because they're probably used to these heroes, I think. That's what it seems like. Like, one of the things that YSMR's lineup is really good at flip uh, 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 doing is flip pushing, but they've just not had that opportunity, because every time they've got ultimates, it hits shit, even when they don't. The number of fights they've taken where uh, Exorcism has been off cooldown, or uh, Omni Slash has been off cooldown, is huge. Yeah, and Rush is up right now, I don't think they know. Someone's got to check in a second, surely. And who's got the level 2000 battle pass, because I'm looking at the, uh, a gold-covered... Roshan right now. Is Jog about to go check it now? Yeah, there he is. He's gonna get straight to work on that too. And Death Prophet coming for the backup. Uh, and Juggernaut's going in for the Basher. 
He's about to have it sent out to him on the courier. Once uh, Roshan goes down, he'll have enough for buyback as well. No. He's a good flame, though. Was moved him into a vulnerable position, but... You know, with all the heroes there, he's not the hero that you want. Like, you can pick off an Abaddon on your own, but... Stolen... Stolen Blade Fury. Arrow connects onto the Shadow Shaman. This is a pretty good opportunity now. Rana jumping in straight away. Oh! Shadow Shaman gets blown up straight off the bat. Juggernaut in a compromised position right now. Glimmercap's going to keep him alive for a little bit longer. Exorcism gets committed. Who are they looking for now? Omni Slash gets dropped. Buyback from the Shadow Shaman. He's going to try and TP back in. And Rubik going down now. Looks like they're looking for Abaddon. Ultimate is off cooldown. Only for another 11 seconds, but Crit manages to pick up the kill. Thank you, Juggernaut. And Morphling next. Wow. But, oh, no, he actually managed to get his replicate off in time. That Can't was kill him anymore. Can't kill the DP. He's too tank. Heart. Damage from Jug. It's huge. It's just going for a refresher now, too. And this is their Roshan. That boat was so good too. All these boats that um, Panra has been doing is like every single one has been on point, and every single time he, he hits at least two heroes and gets his heroes to run. That's cheese too, eh? Right? Yeah, it is. It's cheese from second Roshan. It's like this is the third Roshan, I think. This is the um, second hour long game we're gonna have. Yeah, uh, what you, five seconds left on the clock? Yep. Do we count this down like New Year's? <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one! Woo! One of us got a freaking carrier and the other person didn't. We're witnessing one hour games. I don't think we're getting anything for this one. Scroats though, going in really deep. A couple four starts are gonna save him. Uh, and Serpent Wards. Uh, probably gonna take this tower, I think. Ooh, one more set of... One more salve, one more salve. Yeah, there it is. There's the tower down, so that's a little bit of pressure off. The high ground siege is gonna get a little bit easier for them now here. See whether or not uh, they want to take this fight. They do get the Ooh, Rubik who... Uh, uh, yep, there it goes. Abaddon in the front lines, though. Omni Slash gets dropped. A lot of cancer there as well. Morphling though, working away on the Death Prophet. But he's found himself in pretty deep now. Juggernaut working away on him. Looks like Juggernaut's going to be next to four. Aegis does get popped, so he's going to swap in the Skull Basher now and show off that newly minted one. But Death Prophet, she's got another exorcism, and this is going to turn around back in their favor now. Abaddon. Ultimate popped once again, keeping him alive. Death Prophet getting pretty low. We'll see if they're able to get anything here. Mr. Kirk running into the front line. Death Prophet dies before the ultimate manages to finish up. Hawkeye Pierce now going down and Juggernaut going for the Blade Fury TP out. There you go. That, that seems more like a fight that I expected, but the Batrider did go in a bit. I think he dived in once and then didn't lasso anyone. And he took out. a shitload of damage for it yeah, as well. Yeah, and then well. he did it again. And he sort of just like didn't know what to do after that because he didn't have any jump. And uh, on the back end of that fight, we're looking at a 5,000 net worth swing. And Mr. Spirit did some serious damage that fight. He did 9,000 damage on his own, just in that fight. It's Ember Spirit. Mammoth. The next highest was a... Uh... Abaddon. 6,000. Photic Shield's a bit of a pain in the ass. Just want to see how um, they try to defend us now. They're going to buy back. Surely I'd, I'd buy back. Ooh, pause. They're just going to leave the game because they realize that they might lose. <laughs> uh, Death Prophet's got a refresher though. Like if she buys back, um, maybe they only lose the range racks. Yeah. Joggernaut's got ult in 14 seconds. Uh, Batrider's got his lasso and a double damage. Kunker's got boat. Uh, they can defend this for sure. There's the buyback. 
and the uh, instant refresher pop as well. And that's gonna be enough to stop uh, YSMR from pushing up any further. Well, that rider looking for something it. though. Would you have wanted to fight into that? Yeah, but I'm crazy. Is this Maverick's game to lose right now, do you think? Or do YSMR have more of a chance here that I'm giving them credit for? I don't know, it's pretty even, man. To be honest, like... I think YSM are in a better position, like if I had to pick two... Well, not in a better position, but have a better lineup. But if I had to pick... Which side I was on right now, I'd want to be on Mavericks. And just focusing on getting up vision, pressuring the map, and then making a smoke gank on some one person and then pushing the rest down. Because you can rat that down. It's only two towers. It's only two um, axes, right? It's only tower there. Yeah, that's right. Um, and Shadow Shaman is closing in on level 25 now too. So you went for the plus forward summon, which is, uh, I think, definitely the skill build this game. Yeah, so things like that, like you can just chuck them down and then... Like he gave there basically up the tower hey, solo just because of those wards. Like they were so busy focusing on the heroes that they couldn't focus yep. on the wards, so we got the free tower. And yeah, that can that can really easily happen again. Just imagine if you had Ags though. Have you had Ags yeah. on Shadow Shaman yet with the split shot? The, no, I haven't actually. It's it's so good. Like once you get the tower down and you can hit both lanes at the same time, so both towers at the same, so both racks at the same time. Oh, it's so it's so good. It's so so good. It feels really good in team fights as well. It's just so much damage. Can you imagine if Serpent Wards benefited from attack speed? Like attack speed auras? Let's not, let's not talk about balancing issues because we know what's balanced and what isn't. <laughs> hi, Ami, hi, Ami Valve, I've got ideas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, 100% sure that he doesn't answer all those emails that come to him like, Hey, try this. Just like shrugs them off. Or what if he doesn't even think of ideas and like that's just where he gets everything from nowadays? Like uh, front page of Reddit and uh, his personal emails. I think they do use Reddit a lot for their, oh, um, shit, yeah. their ideas. But uh, as far as balancing issues go, I think these pros. Because that's, that's the only thing that matters, right? Like balancing the pro scene rather than pub scene. Well, if you've got a pro, if you've got a pro scene, you've got an amateur scene, and you've got casual players. This is gonna be a long game. Gets uh, not showing any signs of ending in the next minute or so. That's for sure. But can't, can't are they, are they waiting for uh, the refresher orb to come off cooldown for Death Prophet? Like, they, do they want to like double alt this this next fight? Yeah, well, it's up in like five seconds, but. I don't even know. I think they're just waiting to see what the other team's doing. There's no Roshan up, so... What do we got? We've got at least a minute 30 on Roshan. Smoke up from YSMR. The DD. More. Not a whole lot of people in the area though, they might be able to catch a uh, Shadow Shaman. But uh, that'll be about it. Kunkka sees this. Oh, I feel like he's made a bit of a mistake here moving forward. Maybe he should have just gone straight into the trees. Did you see Kunkka has a blood thorn? Yep. Where did he get that? Uh, when he got the 120 gold per minute talent. That's a huge bitch. He's a good, good position for to take late. Definitely not one of the worst. Clearing out waves, even if the megas are low. I almost feel like he's a core now, like with Bloodthorn. Nah, it's mainly for the cards. Like he's got, he's got more lot. He's got more net worth now than, than Abaddon does. Got more net worth than Death Prophet. How's this not a core conquer? 
<laughs> it's got more than uh, Batrider as well. This is... This is... He's the second highest farmed hero on the Dyer. Come on, this is a core conquer. This is core conquer now. Okay, okay, it's core conquer. What did you say? It's 67 minutes. Everyone's core. Cool. Um, not Rubik, and uh, not Shadow Shaman. <laughs> well, Shadow Shaman's got two items now. He's getting there. He's getting there. Uh, but yeah, like Moran is definitely core. Cool. Look at her build. At what point as a shaman do you go? Hey man. Can you can you buy the wards this time? Please? I think it's normally before the uh, blood bomb comes out. <laughs> the conquer's like, shut up! I want blood bomb. I need it. Use your four staff. It looks nice. Hey, he's going for Aether Lens next to on Shadow Shaman. You know, I wonder if he regrets not going 35 experience right now because he'd be he'd be 25. Is there nah. that much value though in the separate water attacks? I mean, it's pretty good, but is it is it that good? Is it? Yeah, it's good. Oh, oh they're gonna there. catch him again. Well, they check they check Roshan. He's still down. He's got another minute until he's up. They do catch themselves. Juggernaut though, but he's pretty tanky, so he'll live through this. Uh, Exorcism committed from the Death Prophet. They're looking for something. Morphling though. He's staying alive for now, and they're going to be able to get the lasso out onto him, but uh, he's not dying. Abaddon drops the ultimate, keep him, keeps him alive. In 10 seconds, this thing's going to be back off cooldown. That's crazy. Rubik's staying alive for now, but... Now he's gone. Shadow Shaman dead as well. Kunkka, our core Kunkka, now dead, and there's Death Prophet. This is looking really bad. That's the power of Morphling and Ender Spirit very, very late. Uh, pretty quick buyback so, from can Kunkka. You, can you um use Exorcism and then refresh and then use it again straight off? Oh, as in like to have double? Yeah. No, it just refreshes the um, the duration. Uh, I was gonna say, definitely would have. Yeah, it's not quite like um, Eye of the Storm on uh, on Razor. Yeah, that's weird. Why does that work? But I don't know. I'm not gonna question it. Balancing issues. Ice Frog. Send him an email. <laughs> uh, I think this might be the end game for. Mavs here, unless they can pull off some crazy crap again. I would almost expect him here to just go for tier 4s. Uh, nope, we're gonna get pushed back thanks to buyback from Death Prophet. They're being smart and going rush. Are you sure? I think they're looking for a gank here, but Batrider oh, scouts it out, gets a 4 staff back. Huge four-man silence from the Death Prophet. Drops that ultimate again. Thank you, Refresher Orb. She's looking for something. Who are they going to catch? They've got the Ember Spirit locked down. Down he goes. Juggernaut getting some work done now. Getting chased down. But uh, targets get changed. Death Prophet is going to be the next target. We're going to be able to get any more out of this. Yeah, with Death Prophet down... Um, I think the Juggernaut can't really engage here, can he? Like, where's the damage soak? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Juggernaut tipping to the to the bot lane, getting X marked the spot. To go get the racks. Oh, he gets bought back uh, too soon. And Kunku is down. Won't be able to pull that strategy again. In goes the Morana. Hex is up to Juggernaut. That's a lane of racks. Buyback. Being committed from Shadow Shaman. He's going to have to drop the wards here, but he might die before he gets the opportunity. Oh no. This could be YSMR's game. We might be going to game three. Sure is. It's I think we are. Radiant. 
72, 72 minutes. Uh, never get that back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to game three. What do you mean we never get the back? We, we love this. This is great. Yeah, no, it was great. At least we get paid, eh? Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to go to Splash. Uh, lobby for game three is up, so uh, don't leave. We'll be back soon.